Hey guys, this is a very small DIY project uh, showing you how to build a very small uh, voltage regulator which is capable of driving one standard servo without starting to glow. Um, it just cuts your 12 volts input voltage down to 6 volts so you can drive a little receiver or a servo. Uh, I just needed it for a gimbal and I wanted to use the servo to uh, release or uh, activate the shutter on the camera and this is what I came up with. I'm using a fixed voltage regulator and one condensator on the input, one condensator on the output. They just uh, are there to smoothen the voltage going in and coming out and it's very simple. <laughs> you just have three pins. The one on the left side is the input voltage, the one in the middle is the ground terminal and the one on the outside, on the right side, is the output. And I just connect the circuit, I just connect a 3 as LiPo to the circuit. It's having something like 12 watts at the moment. I have to try not to reverse polarity. <laughs> and so now we have power in the circuit and this means I should be able to power up this transmitter here, which works perfectly. And now I just connect the servo to one channel. And you can see, it's working pretty nice. So we don't need a lot of power to push the trigger on the camera and I even started pushing the servo very hard while feeling the tap of the fixed voltage regulator. And if you push the servo you can feel it's getting hot because it has to dissipate <laughs> the heat. So this is a smaller version of the circuit. I just glued both condensators on the side of it, soldered it to the pins so it's correctly connected and I can show you how it's working. So there we have minus. This should go to the middle tab. Connecting power to the other side of the breadboard. Again, <laughs> not reversing polarity if possible. So, this is minus. This should be plus. And it's working too. <laughs> So the advantages are it's very small, you don't have to buy a BEC, the separate components are around 3 bucks I think and you can put a heat shrink tube on it and just have 3 cables coming out, it's very lightweight and you can build it very fast. The components you need is the fixed voltage regulator, the type is uh, TS7805CZ. Further you need one 0.5 nanofarad condensator and a 0.22 nanofarad condensator for the input. You just connect it according to the data sheet. It's very simple. Solder it on and there you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.